Okay, we gotta turn the pallet around. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, let's see, it's a very special video. We finally got in Becky's power plant. I've had a few questions, uh, I guess I could say a few concerns of what's gonna be Becky's new engine. Uh, today's video is gonna be primarily that. I have a list here from MMR themselves to tell me what's inside of it. Thank you, Greg and MMR. Appreciate the uh, beautiful thing that I have right here in front of us. Let's get started. So, as everybody knows, I have purchased a MMR. It is a two, excuse me, an MMR engine. This is the MMR 2000 horsepower long block. Uh, as you see, it does not have the oil pan on it. Uh, that's coming in another box. They shipped it all the way. They shipped everything together, minus the uh, excuse me, minus the oil pan. But I can definitely understand why. And the thr a throttle body. And the throttle body. There's a few pe there's a few pieces missing that I have in this list that I that I don't have, but I'll definitely let you know on those over here. All right, so here it is. This is the MMR 2000 horsepower Forge long block. It does have the MMR billet secondary tensioners. Has the MMR NMRA Renegade spec cams. They are a comp cam. They are a custom grinded comp cam for the big ass turbo, excuse my French, that I have right here. I pretty much got the motor built around the turbo. So that way uh, everything would would hold really because I, I wanted to be able to put a ginormous turbo underneath the front of it and get as much boost out of it as I possibly could. So relating to that I did get the billet cylinder head cam caps. I also got the fire coated billet pistons. You got the MMR billet primary chain tensioners with limited travel. MMR upgraded valve springs chrome oil retainer kit. The phaser eliminator camshaft adjusters. Billet timing chains and guide chains. There's a billet rear cover that hasn't showed up yet that has the trigger wheel and sensor kit up with it. Has the MMR billet valve covers with VCT holes. And I do have a oil sump coming for the car as well. That is all, that is a Morso oil sump, which is uh, definitely a brand that we've gotten familiar with around here. We have a few Morso parts coming which is also a more so deep oil pan. Uh, it's a more so dry oil sump deep pan. Also got the aluminum factory style timing cover. I do have an option to go with the billet style uh, timing cover, but it doesn't have some of the holes on it. So that way I could run obviously the alternator, a couple of pulleys. So that way, you know, I have everything for it. I decided to go with that. Now I can upgrade to it maybe later on when I go with uh, an aftermarket style alternator. If this is the MMR billet ICX Pro inter intercooled intake manifold, it came with the MMR billet fuel rails. Those are very, very beautiful. As you see, I also have the MMR billet valve covers. Everything just matches just so, so perfect. Uh, I do have an idea to make a couple of color options on this. On this, I have a buddy who works at a uh, coatings place, so I could definitely get definitely the hot parts coated in a different color if I decide. Let's see. There's a long list, you guys. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in here. There's a lot of stuff that is missing. I mean, to be honest with you, it doesn't say anything about the crank. It doesn't say, I know that they're, they are a billet connecting rod. 
the billet piston that's, that's got the fire coating on it. I'm not sure what the fire coating does, but everything that I've been told and everything that I've seen uh, seems to make it hold a lot more heat, which is definitely what I'm uh, going to try to help avoid with this ginormous turbo, which is a Garrett 94 millimeter. I've got a full FT600 fuel tech standalone system with all the wires, all the sensors that's coming. That should be here within the next couple of days. So hopefully in the next week or so, we'll have all that wired up with the transmission, get ready to go. Because I was thinking about putting it all together because obviously I want to put it together before I put it in. Make it a little easier. Couple of other things that I'm not really sure on. See, I have the cam specs over here. If anybody wants to uh, zoom in on any of that. These are the cam specs. This is, like I said, it's the, the comp cams. Those definitely took a little while to get in. I think we waited, what, five weeks or so at least? Like four or five weeks for those to come in. And that's what held up a lot of things on this motor. So that, that's all the information I really have right now. Uh, I'm missing a couple of pieces, what I, like I said in the video, which I'll be calling Greg at MMR tomorrow to see what's going on with those. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments down below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Y'all have a great day. Y'all have a car.